Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this Nux tutorial series. I am Aditya, co-founder of Garchi and we are so seeing so far like how we have installed the Composition API with our, we saw actually so far how we installed the Composition API in our Nux application and how we configured it. And now in this video, we are going to see how we can use third-party plugins like Font Awesome or uh anything else like uh you might want to use something else then how to use that so it's pretty straightforward pretty simple like if you are using external scripts or link how to use it pretty straightforward so if you are new to font awesome font awesome is nothing but the it's a library that provides you beautiful icons to use it in your web applications so we will see how to use those and there are a couple of ways to you can use font awesome in your next application so one way is uh oh, sorry so one way is using this nuxjs font awesome plugin which is you just need to install it and configure it and then you're good to go so that's one way to use it but pr mostly i prefer using cdn but again uh it's your choice you can use either of those i'm going to show you how to use cdn so it's pretty straightforward so what we will do is we will just copy this link tag now if you remember uh in our nux.config.js we have the head section and there we can generate the meta tags or the head section dynamically so this is all going to be global so as we will be using font awesome almost everywhere so it, it would be a good practice to keep it like a global global property so how to do it very simple i'll first paste the link tag here so this is that little big link tag now if you see it starts from style sheet ref integrity in etc 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 so what i'm going to do in this link like if you see this is nothing but like an array of js as of objects which are like key value json object keep uh, json object of key value pair so i'll just do another one here i will say rel style sheet uh type i don't think so it has any type so we don't need a type but rather we will need the href so i'll just use href and i'll just copy this link as it is so i'll just cut it and paste it here then we will need this integrity so i'll just copy this integrity as well and how to do it it's gonna be nothing but the key value bear so i can put it on the next line so it's readable and just remove this so this will be integrity you just need to remove this put a colon then we have the cross origin we will do the same thing as we did it for integrity and refresh policy the another attribute so we'll put it here again and just use colon just give it a bit of tab so it's in one line okay we will just remove this now we don't need it and now save it let it build it so it will do all the needful for us of including that tag link tag in our head section and etc etc once that's done, we can use font awesome icons. So now if I go to my application over here with refresh, everything is working great. Now let's try to add a font awesome icon after documentation. So let's take out a normal icon. Let's see if there is a document icon. Uh, there is not, yeah, there is something like this. So I will just use the file upload one, just a random icon to show you how it works. So if I just copy this, and now if I go to my index.view, and after documentation, if I paste this, save, go here, quick refresh. And you can see that I have this font awesome icon over here. So that's how you can include font awesome or other third party plugins or scripts. Uh, if they are supporting like the link tag or some CDNs, then it's pretty straightforward. You can just straight away create a link tag or a script tag or whatever through this head section. You can also do it for a specific page, like uh, you can have a head section for a specific page. So first I'll just change this title here because we don't need this. 
and how to do that so if you go to nuxjs documentation if you go to the head section you will see there is a head method if you go inside the head method it will show you how you can have exactly the same thing for just for a particular page so how to do it let's copy this uh till here. copy and paste it here and if you see the about page title for now it's not demo now if i just change it to say about page you will see that the title will change to about page now if i change the description this would be like say my about page and i can also create a canonical link tag so this is gonna be link and this is going to be the array of all this key value base of json object or json thing so if i go to nuxt config.js the format is exactly like this but except we have your head colon we have your head function so that's the only difference and it returns something so here i will say like i can literally copy this line like this as it is paste it over here and i can then put it canonical canonical and i can just remove this from here and i can just say something like uh, my browser address like the current browser browser address so 127.0.0.1 and colon 3000 so in this way if i go now uh, just refresh the page and if i go to view page source actually not page source but actually inspect so if i go here you will see at the end we have our uh somewhere over here we should have our tags so let me give a quick check so viewport charts uh, title mm, og description here so we have our description tag here which is my about page and we should also like here if you see this and we should also have our canonical link. So the canonical link should be somewhere here, ah, here. So we have our canonical link as well. So this is how you can create custom meta tags or custom head tags for your particular page using Nux. So it is this simple and that's how it takes the complexity from view or the complexity or the drawback of view of creating the or handling the SEO. So you can just have it per page or you can have it like a uh, global setting as we have it here so this is all for this video and in the next video we will see how to create a component and render it till then goodbye